The marine iguana is the only lizard in the world with the ability to live and forage at sea, and is endemic to the Galapagos archipelago. There are six very similar subspecies, each from different islands, with those from Isabella and Fernandina being the largest. The adults are black for most of the year, however the males change color during the mating season, with different subspecies adopting different colorations. Near Española and Floriana they are most colorful, turning bright green and red, on Santa Cruz they are red and black, and on Fernandina they become dull green and brick red. The juveniles are generally black, with a lighter dorsal stripe than the adults. During the mating season males fight for dominance over herons of females, which they will fiercely defend from rival males. Marine iguanas are not a very agile species on land, but they are excellent swimmers, moving easily through the water as they feed on algae. Larger individuals go further out to sea and use their powerful claws to grip onto rocks and strong currents to feed, whilst the smaller ones stay in shorny rock pools, feeding on algae exposed at low tide. Due to the high concentration of salt in their diet, marine iguanas filter their blood at the nose and sneeze out the excess salt, often forming salt crystals on the snout. Despite not being truly social, iguanas are highly gregarious, especially on cold nights when they tend to group together to conserve heat. In the morning, they bask in the sun, absorbing heat with their black scales until they have enough energy to swim out to sea to forage. Upon entering the water, their heartbeat slows to half its normal pace in order to conserve energy and allow them to feed for as long as possible. In Galapagos, they can be seen in coastal regions on the islands of Isabella, Fernandina, Española, Floriana, Santa Cruz, and other islets around them. They live on the islands all year round, with the mating season occurring between January and March. They are active during the day and spend a lot of time on rocks basking in the sun. The marine iguana has a relatively small range and is currently considered vulnerable by the IUCN. On some shorelines they can be very numerous with as many as 2,800 per kilometer, and the total population is estimated to be 200,000 to 300,000 individuals. Most subpopulations have not been fully surveyed, but it is estimated that Marchenda Island has 4,000 to 10,000 marine iguanas, Rabida Island has 1,000 to 2,000 and Santa Fe Island has 15,000 to 30,000. The periodic El Nino events reduce the cold water needed for algae to grow and this can drastically reduce the marine iguana population, on some islands with as much as 90%. When their food algae disappears during El Ninos, the areas may be taken over by the invasive brown algae Diffortia michelii. With global warming, it is expected that El Nino events will be stronger and occur more frequently. Introduced predators, to which they have little or no protection, include animals such as pigs, dogs, cats and rats. Dogs may take adult marine iguanas, while the others may feed on their young or eggs. This inhibits reproduction and the long-term survival of the species. Among the few natural predators are Galapagos hawks, short eared owls, lava gulls, herons and Galapagos racer snakes that may take small marine iguanas. Of the native predators, the hawk is likely the most important, but marine iguanas have anti-predator strategies that reduce its impact. Although unintentional, human beings pose one of the most serious threats to this species. The marine iguana has evolved over time in an isolated environment and lacks immunity to many pathogens. As a result, the iguanas are at higher risk of contracting infections, contributing to their threatened status.